Now, the current uh, economic crisis has drowned so many businesses, in particular small businesses. Access to funding continues to be the biggest obstacle, obstacle facing micro, small and medium enterprises. The United Nations Development Programme is urging bodies to support small businesses to flourish after awarding 18 women and youth-led MSMEs with grants to grow their businesses. This award is part of UNDP's integrated MSME support programme aimed at improving the sustainability of MSMEs to advance job creation and economic growth. The major challenge of micro, small and medium enterprises is accessing funding, especially organizations led by youth and women. UNDP, in collaboration with APSA Bank, is stepping in to fill the gap. 18 said businesses have received a total of $70,000 to support the growth of their businesses. Dr. Angela Lusigi is UNDP resident representative in Ghana and emphasizes the goal of this program. This partnership with ABSA and Empretec has helped us to identify leading enterprises and entrepreneurs in six districts. We have just awarded 18 women and youth-led enterprises uh, and this has been a process of building their capacity in order to transform their enterprises because we believe that the MSME sector in Ghana is the one where we will get jobs and innovation. So through the support uh, by APSA and Empretec, we've been able to build their capacity. We started with over 2,700 applications and we have narrowed down to 18 in six districts. So we're very proud of these young entrepreneurs because we believe that as their enterprises grow, as they become more resilient, uh, they will be able to show the way for others. Actually receiving 15,000 Ghana CDs each. But this comes after a process of building their capacity to design and grow strong and resilient businesses. So this is a tail end of the, pro of, of the program where they will now be able to invest these resources into buying more equipment and expanding their capacity. We are very proud of the fact that they are in all sectors agriculture, nature-based products, and even working with people with disabilities, because this, we believe that this is uh, the way of the future. The grant award is part of a series of business development activities that close to 3,000 participants have benefited from over the past four years. UNDP has dispersed over $500,000 through various challenges, including the Youth Innovation for Sustainable Development Challenge, the Waste Recovery Platform, and COVID-19 Innovation Challenge. Under the current District Innovation Challenge rolled out in partnership with AFSA Bank and Empretec Ghana, 300 businesses received training, coaching and mentorship support on best business practices. Audrey Abakan is Director of SMEs and Agency Banking at AFSA Bank and explains that the bank is committed to providing financing for MSMEs. Our contribution towards this whole program was the capacity building component. Currently, we do have partnership with MasterCard Foundation, and we are able to provide entrepreneurial development programs for small and medium enterprises. So this, the part that APSA played in this whole program is for us to provide UNDP, the consultant that actually provided the training for these participants. As I speak, we have been able to train over 6,000 SMEs under the MasterCard Foundation program, which includes 300 SMEs under this special program. Before receiving the grants, the participant program, Esther Nyameke, fashion designer of Lifetime Designs from Jomoro District, who is also a person living with disability, urged people like her not to despair, but be productive. I have greatly benefited from this program. This funding will help my business and make people like me realize that despite living with disability, we can still work and be productive and not sit by the roadside and beg. People should not look down on themselves, but always look for opportunity. If the integrated support for MSMEs is to build the resilience of youth and women-led businesses to contribute to inclusive and sustainable development.